cutting the first part of the front of the bike here. Hopefully the settings for this diameter pipe are now right. Let's see how we go. Okay, successful cut. Everything looks good. Cut nice and clean. Yeah, that's good. Alright, job done. Okay, so moving on. This is the part we've just plasma cut. I'll just have to get the grinder and grind out the inside bits here so that it fits over this pipe, pipe neatly. Uh, now what I'm going to cut is the support plates for these two. So um, we'll have these parts welded inside here and that will then um, move up and down with the suspension. So um, I'm going to weld, I'm going to plasma cut a circular plate with a hole in the middle, the diameter of this, uh, which is about 63.3 millimetres and then we'll do the second one. So we'll do the smaller one first just to make sure that it fits and and we'll attempt the second one. So I've got three millimeter plate on the table. Uh, done a quick test cut, everything seems to go right. So we'll cut the center circle first, followed by the outer circle. have worked even though the air compressor turned on. Let's go see if it fits. So here's the part I've just chipped all the dross off it off the back there just using a bit of metal just chipped away at it and everything came off pretty good so it's it's a nice clean cut. I ran that cut at 1500 uh, millimeters per minute which was a little faster than I had previously. Um, so let's just see how it looks. Perfect fit. Should just press in there, no worries. Yeah, a little bit of persuasion that'll go in, no worries. So, yep, that's one. So, let's see if it fits in the actual pipe itself. Just grab a bit of pipe. It's 
got to remove. I have to clean that out. It's probably going to get stuck on that. Yeah, it does, just as I thought. Should fit. It's just uh, hitting that little bit of metal there. So I might just uh, cut a groove in this actually. It'll be easier than cleaning out that. So let's give that a go. So that to fit in there nicely. Should press in. It's not quite big enough there, but I'll put that on the plasma cut next time just to uh, compensate for that little bit of raise in it there. But that'll stick in nicely. So there's one bearing holder. So we'll go, we'll go cut the other side now. Okay, this one's 76.15. Maybe we'll cut a 76.2 millimeter inner circle this time. And we'll just measure this little bit here. Looks like four. Yeah, no, but we'll just go five millimeters. by two millimeters okay okay so here's the part we'll cut next I'll just simulate the cut we do the inner and the outer and I'll put a little notch there okay so let's cut the larger hole Let's go see if it fits. So they're both done. That was the second one we just cut. So needed a little bit of filing just to fit it in there. And that'll just drop straight in down there. So that'll be the bearing support at one end. And then we'll put this one in at the other. So that's all done. So the next bit we need to cut is uh, two more plates, two circular plates to go inside this, which will hold this guy in place. So it's the same outer diameter, obviously, as what we've just cut. And I'll just measure up this again, and then I'll cut two identical plates that uh, fit on this one. Okay, so there's the part, 21.55 center, uh, and the outer is... Uh, at 105 which is the inner diameter of the pipe I'm using with a little notch in it there. So, there we go. Try it before we cut the next one. Seems pretty tidy. So there's the first one. Quite a little bit of clean out. But uh, a quick file couldn't fix, so that'll be on the end. That'll sit in here. Just line that notch up. This 
will be inside, going through the centre, and then we'll have one at the other end as well. Uh, I think it sticks, it protrudes a little bit out. I think this is longer than uh, 300 millimetres by a little bit, so I'll just have to chop the end of it off. Alright, let's cut another one. So we've got the two end plates cut, one there, one there, they're just fitting in there. So we'll just get these welded in. And then the frame of the bike will uh, be supported by this part. And once these guys here are welded in inside here, then this will be your swing arm of your suspension and we'll come off that. So that's moving along. So this part here has to be flush with the end of this pipe here because there's a plate that screws onto this. I'll put a uh, tap a thread inside this hole here and uh, um, a 10 mil bolt screws into that with a plate covering this end cap here. So you've got access to your bearings and to take off the front of your bike if you need to. So that's um, a little bit different to the way I did it the first time. The first time I actually cut the center out of a um, um, out of a wheel hub and had it welded in. So this way is just a little bit different. Maybe a little bit lighter too, hopefully.